we are back covering Fortnite's luckiest moments. And to kick it off, we have the llama glitch. Okay, starting it off. All right, it looks like he sees a llama, like multiple llamas in one. Is that a glitch? Wait, no, 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 don't shoot them, box them up. Whatever you do, box them up. Oh no, don't throw the grenade, don't do it. No, no, don't do it, no. Now they're all gonna run away and you get none of them. I mean, if that was me who actually found all those llamas, like, honestly, I'd probably, like, I wouldn't know what to do. You know what I mean? Like, the chances of this happening are probably, like, one in, like, 10,000. And if a three-headed llama has blown you away, this is just the tip of the iceberg. These moments are going to get luckier and luckier. So fast forward to my brother, Scope, who apparently got one of the cleanest wins of the season so far. Yeah, let's go. Whoa, okay. Huge, big spoke. Okay. okay, I gotta admit, that is an insane no scope. But it looks like not everything is as clean as that. Sometimes lucky moments can be an incredible roller coaster of emotions. Oh, what? Ancient Melon was this close to dying, and luckily that water was right there to save them. Gotta say, if this glitch happened to me, I would have fallen straight on the ground and died. I wish I was this lucky. But even that wasn't as shocking as the time Okans pulled off this incredible play. Ah, uh, he doesn't get them. Oh, takes out the sniper. No way. Ah, uh, he missed. That's crazy. Oh, oh wait, what? King God. Oh my god, bro. Clip that. Clip that. Clip that. <laughs> yeah, she is too good. There's no way anyone could hit a shot like that on purpose. The chances must be one in a million. And somehow chapter three has unlocked even more ways to defy the odds because now moments like this are finally possible. Dude, this fing shotgun blows, dude. Oh, is he thinking what I'm. Yeah, he's gonna do exactly what I thought. Yeah, get on the zip line and land at your friend. Yo, I'm crazy. I'm actually How crazy. are you here? Oh my god. <laughs> that guy's probably mad he didn't get the thirst, though. Man, I guess the Daily Bugle is now one of the most OP drop spots out there for squads. Zip lines, webs, there's so much for you to escape on. Foxman got super lucky discovering this tactic. But when some bear played one of their first ever duo matches in Chapter 3, they went in pretty blind. And because of that, they didn't realize that the new features would turn out to be their best friend. Oh, he shot the tree. And it lands, and he gets the win. That's pretty lucky. That's all right. That's pretty lucky. Poor that guy, though. He's probably so upset right now. <laughs> yeah, that is one of the greatest accidental wins I've ever seen in Fortnite. We're just getting started as we move to Zemi, sliding his way into Chapter 3 with an absolutely insane moment. Oh, my God. Oh my god! Some would call this skill, others would call it pure luck, but it is just a perfect mashup of both. And when they work together, you get this. But if there's something I did not see coming at all, then it will be when Potential Toe went crazy. Did his friend jump down and put the launch pad at the last second? Wait, we need to rewind that, what? So he, 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 he gets shot down, and then... A launch pad just appears out of nowhere? And so he's fine, but his friend died. It had to have been the friend. That's the only thing that makes sense. Certain death was waiting for them, and it was coming fast, but wow, that launch pad really just came out of nowhere. If it's pure luck you're seeking, then you have come to the right place, especially when you see moments like this. Oh! Oh, film one screen. Film one screen. Mid-air, mid-web, what an incredible shot. But while trick shots like that need a lot of luck, when X2 Twins try to set up a crazy trick shot, they relied on luck more than anyone else in Chapter 3. Okay, whoa, what's going on here? Did they just win with one HP left? Anything else happen? Oh my god! I hit it! What? Is he trolling? He's trolling. His brother looked to sleep, okay? The timing for that guy to die in the storm just before X2 Twins hit 1 HP. I mean, that is some incredible luck. But even that is not as great as when Ranger became a little too determined to take out some noob in the sky. Is he going back to the old map? Is that where he's going? Um. Okay, so far it really hasn't been that lucky. 
really good. I'm out of ammo? Oh, come on. He's 1 HP! There's a All sniper right, right there. There's no way he hits this. <gasps> How'd he get that snipe first try? Now that is impressive. But if there's one thing in chapter three that is getting everyone excited, it is the new Spider-Man mythic. This item is just so good, and that's proven even more when Piz F. Ben gets his hands on it. <laughs> the fact that he swung straight to the one weak point of the build and pulled off a win like that, I mean, wow. But what really surprised me was when Nate Hill called what was gonna happen just before it actually did. <laughs> I want to hit some cool snipes there, man. Okay. Take those. Okay, can we slow-mo replay on that sniper shot? How did Nate Hill survive that? This moment was even luckier than I ever imagined. But if you want by far one of my favorite moments in all of Chapter 3 so far, look no further than here. Here's what happened when Lord Scott was trapped in the storm and needed a quick escape. Get the NPCs could have ever given him. I just love this moment so much. This is why Fortnite is one of the best games out there right now. What other battle royale does stuff like this? But if we are speaking of quad crashers, then replay takes the cake for the best way to use them in chapter three. Oh god. Phase replays. He's a trick shot, alright? I have a feeling I know where this clip is gonna go. One HP you said? I did it! I did it! How many meters was that? It didn't show the meters. 22. 222 meters? All right, that's actually pretty ridiculous. And the luck continues, especially as we get closer to the holidays. So what better way to get into the mood than seeking the kindest Fortnite players out there? Here's what happened when IP Max came across a makeshift Christmas store. What kind of base is that? There's loot in there. Is that like a friendly guy? Look at that. Oh, there's loot. Oh, okay. This reminds me of OG Fortnite. See, the problem is you can't do this type of stuff nowadays because you always get jumped on by a sweat. I wish I was lucky enough to come across one of the nicest players in all of Fortnite. But of course, I was heartbroken that it ended so awfully. Thanks to these two players for bringing the holiday spirit to the game. While that toxic third party ruined everything, luckily you don't have to wait long to see justice. Toxic people sometimes have a little bit of karma coming for them. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, he ran. No. Oh. He really decided to flex on the guy by showing his number of wins, but that shark decided it was not going to let that crown number go up anytime soon. You'll love to see it. And sharks aren't the only thing appearing out of nowhere in Chapter 3. We've all been there where we're just minding our own business and suddenly a car comes out of nowhere. But it's awesome to see it from the driver's perspective. And if you want perfect timing, look no further than Cypher PK's incredibly smart and lucky Victory Royale. So simple, but everything had to go right for that to even work. But now it is time for one of the luckiest and coolest moments in all of chapter three so far. Who better to give it to us than Nick A30? Where is he? There he is. Oh, he's, he's, <laughs> I'm about to see this. Fortnite Battle Royale, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> yeah. Oh! <laughs> that was pretty cool. That's a good clip. I'm not gonna lie. I'm pretty impressed with that. I'm pretty dang happy with that one. I'm also impressed, Nick, okay? <laughs> and those are the luckiest moments of Fortnite Chapter 3. Hope you guys enjoyed it. But Tommy, keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.